so my name is Erica, and I'm uh, I have a project on at the moment uh, called the Vegetable Store, which is with Garnet McCullough, and it's at uh, Fireworks Studios. Um, so <coughs> I'm going to start off by just showing a few images of the project, um, and it's basically we turned the front space of the studios, which is normally a pottery shop, into a ceramic vegetable, uh, fruit and vegetable shop. And um, all the works are handmade, um, so either thrown on the wheel and then altered, or, um, or else sometimes they're kind of made from pinch pots kind of, or slab built. And uh, they're all modeled after uh, fruit and vegetables, so we would just go and buy them and then do our best to emulate them. Um, and we just kind of uh, change the front of the space um, and kind of just made this enormous quantity of fruit and vegetables. Uh, so these are ceramic uh, potatoes and sweet potatoes. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm not going to talk that much about the project. I was actually going to speak about an experience that uh, influenced the way in which I think about my practice. Um, years ago, I had a lot of stuff stored in a shed on a farm, uh, my family's farm in Canada. And I, at the time, I had basically dumped all of my possessions into boxes and left them in this enormous uh, shed and didn't look at them for about 10 years after moving to Glasgow. Um, and then a few years ago, my uncle passed away and my family and I had to return and uh, sort through everything, not just my stuff. Um, also, my uncle was a, a hoarder, so we had this kind of huge amount of stuff to organize kind of like multiple lifetimes of just junk to organize and uh, sell off. Um, so I think it, it kind of changed the way that I think about my work because I, I sort of have this compulsion to collect or just accumulate large amounts of stuff through collections, but also just through uh, making um, large amounts of material like sculptures and drawings and then having this process of editing everything down, kind of boiling everything down to the most significant items. And it was sort of a, a similar process where I was trying to figure out what was important. Um, some of the items were quite expensive at the time that they were originally purchased, like this chandelier. I think my parents spent $300 on this and we ended up selling it for like $30. Um, uh, so I guess I've been thinking about this experience just recently in relation to the vegetable store and how um, this project sort of mirrors that process on a very small scale uh, that we have spent the sort of past half year organizing and creating all these works. Um, and we've recently realized that we can't keep everything and have been planning this event after that we're going to sell everything off. Uh, during that summer, I became completely obsessed with documenting everything that was around me. And I should say I'm not a photographer. This was more just something I was doing out of my own kind of boredom. And um, so just documenting the various structures around me. This was a house that um, kind of a one room house that my mom grew up in with her siblings. And, and for whatever reason, it was just standing kind of cut in half and was filled with all this junk and debris um, kind of right out in the middle of a field. Um, and I just uh, kind of, oh, this is it, uh, with some washing machines that were for sale. Um, so yeah, I just kind of was trying to document everything that was going around, on around me at the time, just, uh, I suppose, just kind of as a way of keeping everything. Um, this was a kind of washing station that someone had set up while we were there, because we were living there as well at the time. So uh, there was all this sort of evidence of our own <coughs> domestic lives. Um, and I think this was used for, like, it was like where you were going to wash your hands or a car. Um, and I just was, for whatever reason, was just photographing everything that was around me. Um. Uh, 
Um, this is my uncle demonstrating the world's tallest shovel. <laughs> 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 Uh, this is another photo of him uh, removing a doghouse with a bulldozer. <laughs> and these were some of our uh, relatives that came for a visit one day from just down the road. And this is a pile of chainsaws that was for sale. Uh, at some point, we had this uh, huge pile of garbage out in the field, and it rather unexpectedly caught on fire. <coughs> It was rather dramatic, and uh, the fire department had to come and put it out. And um, one of my uncles started telling me that my, my mannequin had popped out of the fire and fell at the fireman's feet. And I, I couldn't figure out what he meant because I didn't own a mannequin at the time. Uh, but I realized it was this clay sculpture, this clay male torso I had made during my BA that I had tried to hide somewhere near the bottom of the pile so that no one would see it. Um, anyways, thank you very much.